Hey guys, welcome to the first part of my video series on unit testing in Python with PyTest. As the title suggests, all that we're going to do in this particular video series is that we're going to learn how to write unit tests for Python projects with the PyTest framework. Software testing is actually very important because it identifies any kind of faults or defects in a software system at an early stage, which as a result improves the quality of the product and builds confidence in it. By early stage, I mean when it is still feasible and effective to remove the existing defects. For example, let's say you have already dispatched a software to a customer and then some bug is found in it. It will be pretty troublesome to fix that bug quickly, right? So it must be our effort to write bug-free code and even if there are some bugs, we should be able to detect them as early as possible. And software testing techniques help you do just that. Software testing is also important because it can save money, time and even lives for mission-critical software systems. That's why every software developer should focus on software testing. And in this particular video series, we are going to learn about the first level of software testing, which is called unit testing. Since this is the first video, we are going to get a brief understanding of software testing, various Python unit testing frameworks, and we will also be setting up a Python project for unit testing using PyTest. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so let me start by giving you a very standard definition of software testing. Software testing can be stated as the process of verifying and validating that the software or the application you have is bug free and also it should meet all kind of technical or the user requirements which have been provided to you and it should also be handling any kind of exceptional or the boundary cases. So all in all your application must be bug free and it should satisfy all the requirements and you ensure that by doing software testing. So there are various levels to software testing actually. The first level is called unit testing after which there is something called integration testing, system testing and finally there is acceptance testing. So let us just get a brief overview of each one of them. So unit testing is the first level of software testing where what you do is that you test the individual units or the components of your software right and what you are actually trying to do is that you are trying to keep a component in isolation and then testing the functionality of only that particular component assuming that everything else in your software works fine. So that is what unit testing is. And then there is integration testing where you combine multiple components or units and test them as a group. So that is integration testing for you. And finally, um, the third level here is system testing where the complete integrated system is tested overall and you try to see if it is meeting all the requirements or not and finally you have acceptance testing where someone from outside the software development team will test the software for acceptability uh, basically they are trying to check if it is meeting all the requirements or not not from the coding perspective but from the business perspective you can say so so that it is acceptable for delivery so that is what acceptance testing is right so for the first three levels that you have in unit testing integration testing and system testing it is the software development team which is actually responsible okay so now moving to types of software testing so how can you test your software right so there are mainly two ways which is one is manual and another another one is automated so if you have not been using any kind of unit testing framework so far so far then you are probably have uh, you have probably been doing the manual testing in your projects so manual testing means testing your software manually so just by providing some input and checking if the output is correct or not so that is manual testing and this is what um, anyone usually does when they have no idea about unit testing or they do not care about actual unit testing but then comes automated testing so if you have a large project not a single script then you should probably write some automated tests so what happens in automated test is that you write a script where you have already specified what all actions to be taken or this test plan that you have which should be executed to check if your software is um, working correctly or not so the benefit that you are getting is that you can run the tests quickly and repeatedly so that's what automated testing is and yeah so what we are going to focus on is automated testing and for that there are multiple unit testing frameworks in python so let us go through them one by one so the first one is unit test as the name suggests it is the unit testing library and it is actually the only built-in 
library in the in python which can be used for unit testing and the two main features of the unit test library are that that any test that you write that should be written as a class which should inherit from unit test dot test case class and another one is that um, the unit test library itself provides some assertion methods so what you do is that you try to run a function and you assert if the output provided by running the function is matching what you expect or not so for doing that kind of assertion there are already um, some special assertion methods that you will need to use in order to check if the function is working correctly or not so that is the um, python unit test library for you but there are many other third party libraries which have much more functionality as compared to unit test and these are some popular ones these are nose and pytest so nose actually um, so nose basically extends unit test to make testing easier that is their tagline and actually um, nose um, is not having any active active development as of now and a fork of nose was created and then nose 2 is what um, people actually use nowadays but if we compare nose with something called pytest then pytest wins because of the functionality that it provides so that's why we are going with pytest and pytest as you can see it also supports the execution of the test cases which you have already written using the unit test library and other than that it provides a lot of things and the main focus is to reduce the boilerplate code that you have to write for example as i was saying that the unit test library the built-in unit test library that requires you to write test which uh, in the form of a class which inherits from unit test or test case so no such thing needs to be done in pytest you can write a very simple function which should start with test underscore and that should be considered a unit test so in th in these small small kind of ways pytest tries to reduce the boilerplate code that you have to write to write a test so it makes writing unit test a bit easier for you right so there are some um, nice features which are provided by pytest and one of the nicest feature is that you can use the simple assert statement which already exists exists in the pythons um, so you must be aware of assert assert true is equal to one so you are not getting any error which means that the assertion is correct and you get assertion error which means that um, some that your assertion is wrong so in, in this way you can use this built-in assert keyword uh, uh, un, uh, unlike the unit test the built-in unit test library so similarly it has some more ways of writing unit test in a much more simpler way so that's why i have decided to go with pytest for writing unit tests and now it is time to set up our project okay so we'll be using pycharm in order to create our python project so let me start by clicking on file new project and we're going to go with a pure python project and we're going to call it pytest hyphen tut so i'll be using a new virtual environment which will be using the python 3.8 interpreter the python interpreter so i'm just going to click on create and now my project is being created so my project got created and as you can see that we have a folder which is called pytest-tut in which currently there is only a virtual environment present right so now we are gonna start by creating a new directory here so i'm just gonna click on creating a new python package so actually in this particular tutorial i'll be having multiple packages which will be named like tut1 tutorial1 tutorial2 and so on so that's why i'm going with tut1 here and inside that again i'll be creating a new python package which i'm gonna call as my app okay and here i'll be creating my first python script so in my python script let me call it sample so in the sample we are gonna write some code so def let's see add so this is a very simple function so, and i'm just gonna do something like this so this is a function that i have written and now i need to test this function right and for that we're gonna use the pytest framework for doing that so 
first of all the thing that you will need is the pytest library right so in your virtual environment you will need to install pytest so we will be doing pip install pytest so it will install pytest for us and once that is done we can see if pytest works or not by right by typing pytest and look at that it actually ran something and it is saying that it collected zero items so now we are going to talk a bit about the discovery of tests that pytest does so basically um what you have to do is that in order to create a unit test you have to create any kind of python script which starts with test underscore so let me start by creating a new package which will be my test package inside tut1 so i'm gonna call it tests and inside you can name it anything so inside tests i'm gonna create a new python file so for, for example let me just name it foo for now okay and now here let me try to write def and let me write test underscore test underscore add okay test underscore add is the name of my function that i'm writing here and now in order to test this add function inside sample i need to call it right so how do i do that so i'll be importing it import tut1 dot my app dot sample so from tut1 dot my app dot sample i've imported add and i'm just gonna check if one comma two is equal to three or not right so i'm just gonna assert this so why i'm using assert because i want my test to fail if whatever i am trying to assert is wrong so that i know that there is something wrong with the way my function has been written so this is a very simple thing that i've written right so now let me just try to run pytest again so notice that i am running pytest from the root of my project directory right okay so now the thing is that um, i have written a very simple script which i'm calling foo but still it is not discovering anything so basically the thing is that you need to name your python script in such a way that it starts with the prefix test underscore so i'm gonna call it test underscore sample so this will be the name of my test script and now let me run pytest so look at that it is saying that it collected one item and it ran this particular python test script and it ran one test right so in this way we are able to use pytest so what pytest will do is that it will try to find all the first of all it will try to go recursively into your project and then it will try to find all the python scripts which have the name which is starting with test underscore and then it will try to find all the tests which are then and then it will try to find all the functions which are starting with test underscore let us see if we'll try to find add underscore test or not so let us just verify that no yeah so any function that you want to be run as a unit test it should start with test underscore so that is the thing and now um let me write multiple unit tests so let me write a unit test um for number addition and then let me write another unit test for let's say string addition so here it will be assert add so as you know that strings can be concatenated using the plus op uh, the plus operator so that's why we are going like this so now um let us run pytest again so look at that this time it collected two items because there were two unit tests so this is how you can write um, unit tests and now um, you can also group together your unit tests as a class using in uh, for running them using pytest so all you will have to do is that the name of your class should start with test so let us try test sample and then um, let me just copy these two inside here and you will have to write self um, and here also because that is what is passed to every method inside a class so yeah so this is my test so let me just run it again 
So look at that, it collected four items this time, which means that four unit tests were run because there is one more class which starts with test and it has two more methods. So if it is named only sample, then there is no point because it will not run them. So it is collecting only two items this time and sample test, something like that. Again, no. So basically, if there is a class which has some unit tests which have to be done by PyTest, it, the test capital T should be the prefix and if there is any function which should be run by PyTest, then again test underscore should be the prefix of the function name. So yeah, so in this way we have written um, a few unit tests and as we can see. So now let us say that you did some mistake, you did some wrong assertion, for example you wrote 1 plus 2 should be 4, you assume that and now you are trying to run a unit test. So let us see what PyTest will tell you. So look at that. PyTest will tell you what you did wrong. It is saying that um, you are trying to assert that 3 is equal to 4 because add 1 to return 3 which is wrong. So that's why there was an assertion error. So in this way your test will fail and you will know that you have written your unit test incorrectly or let's say you are actually expecting to be 4 here then you might have written your add function incorrectly. So yeah. So that is PyTest for you and now uh, before ending this particular video uh, one more thing that we can see or look into is how to run the PyTest directly through the UI of the PyCharm that we have right. So what to do for that uh, because you cannot you will not like to use the command line every time. So what you have to do for that is you will need to go to the settings and you will have to look into language and frameworks let us look into it okay so let me just search for python integrated tools yeah so you will have to go for python integrated tools it is under tools and here the default test runner for your python project is actually unit test library which is the built-in uh, Python stand library for unit testing. So we will just go with PyTest. So now PyTest will be used for running any kind of unit test. So now click on apply and OK. So now you can see this green run button in front of all the unit tests in your code, which means that you can just click here and run your test using PyTest. So it is saying that run PyTest for this thing, right? So let me just click here and look at that. It ran my test straight away. I didn't have to write any command line thing, any um, thing in the command line basically. So it ran test add num and that passed. So this is correct. So in this way you can use the um, UI of the PyCharm to directly run any kind of test. And let's say you want to run all the tests in this particular test script, then just click on the name uh, here on the test script and then click on run the PyTest in this particular python script and it will run all the tests which are present as you can see you got all the tests right the four tests they ran and passed so yeah so in this way um, you can use pytest you can configure your project to be using pytest and now we have um, quite a fair understanding of how pytest works so we'll be learning a few more things some more features of pytest in the upcoming videos so yeah so that's it from this video if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below Thanks for watching.